good, 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 oh man, oh, what is going on, she hoaxes and gremlins, it's another awesome edition of Mon Toys, I got hell what is going on, how's y'all day going, well, I hope, I hope, I hope real, real good, so today I have a pretty cool figure to display, I kind of met him today, uh, I got the Peter Parker, uh, Spider-Man action figure, from the Marvel Legends Hobgoblin line. It's pretty cool, man. I, I really dig the eyes on this figure. Uh, it kind of... And I also dig the, the, the nice black webbing around actually his whole body. One thing I don't dig, though, is these red pivots on the blue side. You know, they should have really painted that blue just to cover it up. But, you know, they got lazy. But nonetheless, man, this, this, this toy here, I could say, is probably going to be one of my favorite Spider-Mans. He's very mobile. Many points of articulation, as you can see in the many poses that we put him in. And also, he came with a slice of pizza. Matter of fact, you know what? The, the, the box on the back, if you see, if you ever, ever want, if you guys are interested in the description, it says that he uh, got bit by Spider, became a superhero, and that he also is still hungry, like Ugo is still ugly. But uh, he's pretty, uh, uh, that's why he came with a pizza, I guess, to, to imply that he's still hungry. Why it comes with a pizza, I was thinking about it maybe because, you know, he used to deliver pizzas back in the day as a, as a uh, you know, um, as a delivery boy. But it kind of reminds me of things like, you know, when you associate things with pizza. Like when I think of pizza, I think of the Ninja Turtles. Or when I think of cheese, I think of myself and my pupusas, you know. But uh, let's get back to this figure. It comes with uh, one interchangeable head, which is cool. As you can see, you can finally see his mouth. I think this is the first Spider-Man that ever did, does that. Uh, they should really just come up with a big, uh, nice big Peter Parker head, which would be cool. You know, uh, also it comes with uh, four interchangeable hands. It's always crazy when you take out the hand, you know, because you don't want to damage it. So I suggest when you guys do that to, you know, hold it firmly and pull straight, you know. So so it's pretty cool. And then the head was a little bit difficult, but it snaps right back in. The articulation is pretty nice and tight. I haven't broken in this figure, so I uh, doubt I will, but I will be putting them in some cool poses. Um on the back, I guess you have, um, you know, you have the original Spider-Man logo, and uh, but it has that that weird pip, that that hole in there that you can't you can't find something to put it in there so it could hold. I guess it's it's a different hole in terms of like in comparison to the old Marvel Legends figures, like the uh, the things that hold it up were pretty universal with any uh marvel legends figure but then again there's toy biz but that just came up to me now nonetheless i would suggest you guys getting this figure i don't know how you guys feel about building hobgoblin but i think that might be my very first build action figure a figure that i intend to trade so uh go ahead and get this get all the line get all the other figures in this line because it's pretty dope they got daredevil they got uh spider-man 2099 which we will be talking about in future episodes um yeah go ahead and get it all right y'all peace <laughs>